So what's the deal, Debbie? So we just got done uh, today with a 60 arrow shoot here at a social circle high school. Great day, obviously. A bunch of good uh, archers out there today. Everyone's shooting very well. I made it to pull a uh, 299 for the first round and a 296 for the second round. Um, like I said, good, uh, good archers out here today. Great experience. And uh, make sure to follow the Fox in the Corner Outdoors for more content. Well. And what is that 296 out of? 300. So, shot pretty well today. Uh, the last five, six days leading up to it was really hammering down, but that just goes to show, you know, I'm out there every day putting the reps in. I could beat anybody. So. What's going on, guys? Connor Dove here with the Fox and the Pointer. And this past weekend, the Fox and the Pointer finally got to get out to their first archery shoot this past weekend in Social Circle, Georgia. Um, it was located at Social Circle High School, and there was a lot of great shooters that came out on day one and day two. Um, so a little recap of the weekend. Day one came out there, uh, got signed in, got to meet a bunch of the people that were out there shooting. I met some people that were in my class. And being a little honest with y'all, there's a lot of nerves kind of going into it. Uh, just before competition and whatnot, I always kind of get a little nervous. But I always end up fighting through the nerves and usually do pretty well. So day one, as you can see here, there was six rounds of five arrows for a total of 60 shots. Um, with my bow, shooting a Matthews V3, I'm throwing back 70 pounds. And you could think that would be a lot, which it wasn't bad. But overall, on the first day, I managed to get a 295 out of 300. Um, some of the other guys I was shooting with, like I said, were very good shooters. Some of them were professional shooters, and they were getting 300s out of three out of 300. So that's kind of the, the separation there in competition that I noticed really, really quickly on day one. Going on to day two, a um, little less nerves. Kind of have a feel now after day one and got a little confidence in myself uh, going up against some of those guys here on day two and managed to pull out a 291 out of 300. And uh, for a combined score of 586 out of 600 at my first uh, indoor event ever. Um, like I said, a lot of good competition out there. Chase Hamby actually showed up. He's also with the Fox and the Pointer. He showed up and got some good pictures uh, and was there for some, uh, some support. And like I said, just going to keep on working and uh, we can see how these uh, things go. So after day two, we got a final of all the scores. Um, they emailed us all the shooters a link and we got to look at our scores and after doing some number crunching and looking at all the rankings in the adult freestyle class that I was in there was 11 shooters there and I had placed top five in that class and that class is a class where guys can show up with you know stabilizers that are over a foot long they can have laser uh, they can have laser dots on their scopes that calibrate a distance for them granted it's at 20 yards you know they can you can show up with whatever you want and basically shoot however you want, whatever style, it's a freestyle. So that's how that kind of went out and went about. But here's a scorecard right here. And there it is. First indoor shoot with the Fox and the Pointer. And then I'm also going to give you all an in-depth look at the bow that was involved in this weekend's competition. Stick around. So the, here's the bow that was used, that I used, and I also used on all my hunts and all the endeavors we go on here at the Fox and the Pointer, this is the boat that is with me 101% of the time, 24-7. I literally never go on a hunt without it. This is the Matthews V3. This is Matthews 2021 model. This is a 31-inch model from cam to cam. And working down, you have the Spot Hog, which this is the Spot Hog Fast Eddy scope. It is a one-pin sight, but it also has two spots on it to where if you have your set on 20 your next set will be 10 yards you know farther out at what you're aiming at so you don't have to mess with the scope as much i also have a matthews ultra rest on here which is what holds the arrow that's one of the higher grade rests that comes out of matthews itself uh, i had just restrung this d loop i went with the fox and the pointer orange uh, had to show some team support there for the boys. So this is the wrist strap on my bow. I chose red. You can choose whatever color you want, obviously, but red is what I wanted to go with. And one of my new favorite additions on this bow, it hasn't even been on this bow for about a month now, is the 
stabilizer. This is an 11 inch stabilizer with sound dampening technology that actually matches the bow here, the Matthews V3 itself. And it really goes well with it because when I'm out in the field and I'm taking a shot on an animal, whether it may be a white-tailed deer, a turkey, a hog, or a black bear, whatever the season is, whatever we're going after, I don't want that animal to hear that arrow coming right at it to eliminate them dropping down or ducking my shots. So as a bow hunter, I am definitely taking a look on how loud my bow is, you can say, and this is a stabilizer that definitely cuts it out. And I definitely got my peep redone. It was moving up and down as I was shooting last week. I noticed it before the competition, so I went and got that tightened down. And the guy that put this bow all together is Mitch at Mitch's Archery. He's a local bow shop uh, down there in Canton, where we're from. And I go to him uh, for knowledge and for him to fix my bow. And so this is the bow, the Matthews V3, and wouldn't go anywhere without. Thank you.